Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every time that I post. Thank you for your time. Hello guys, uh, well, uh, before we really get into the video guys, I would like to tell you that this video and the next one I'm going to upload are still regarding only the basic concepts of Flutter. So be after I upload this video and the next one, I'm going to upload both of them in the same day today. So after I upload both of this video uh, regarding the basic concepts, I will start uploading only the, the tutorial on how actually we're going to build our complete um, on our, our complete e-commerce i'm giving you this notification just now guys because i know that some of you are really expecting to start building the project but i really have to give the basic concept of flutter so that when we start building we are all in the same page like even people new to flutter and those of you who already have some knowledge regarding flutter because i know that most of you already know how to do basic stuff like list views and grid views and this kind of stuff so if you already have knowledge of Flutter, you don't need to watch neither this video or the next one. Just wait uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I'll start uploading only the video regarding the, the, the building process of, of our application here on, on the screen. Uh, thank you for your time, guys. And uh, thank you very much for your understanding. See you. For this video, we're going to talk about the widget called Grid View. And grid view is just like list view, but sometimes you want to have things instead of a single list, you want to have things on a grid view, on a grid mode. So that's when you use grid view. Let's talk about grid view. As you know, import what package, which package? Flutter dot dart. Okay. And then void main. I just erase this so you can code along with me and practice right then run app then inside of this you're going to write new material app then we're going to give home and inside of home we are going to give mm, grid view count then we have a property called the cross axis count and what does it mean it basically means okay in this grid view how many columns uh, arranged horizontally do you want to have if you write two means you want to have one column here and another one here if you write three means you want to have here here and here four here here and here here okay let's start off with two okay and then the next thing you're going to do is write children and for the children let's give text sorry it's supposed to be capital text and here we are going to give one then we're going to write again text two. You run the application and here you have it. Let me just do this. I'll copy here. I'll paste it here and write three. Okay, let me save and run this and you see the magic you have this here so let's come here to the cross axis count and change the, tr the 2 to 3 and run it and you see the magic uh, and just to show you how does it work let's just cut paste these a couple times rerun the app here you have it one two three one two three one two three one two three 
okay and this was very very quick and this was a video on grid view i really hope you guys did understand and i hope you guys did like the video and sorry uh i usually know that the beginning it's already bo it's always boring like learning this kind of stuff you don't really understand what are we what, what what are you actually doing and like the apps are just horrible looking but it's a process we have to go through right you we have to make sure that we, we we're going this way and just a reminder this is what we're going to build so i don't want you to feel down or feel bored or learning this kind of stuff because this kind of stuff will make it possible for you to build this kind of stuff as you can see here i'm making use of a grid view and you're going to use this knowledge here right okay guys thank you for your time see you on the next one